I welcome you all on platform of Pure Video Education, and you are watching the series of videos related to post gate counseling. Uh, we are uploading every day some video explaining you about various departments where you can apply in different IITs, IICs, and such institute of higher education. Uh, today, my this video is about the energy studies department energy science bhi bolte hain usko energy studies bhi bolte hain usko and this is also one of the interdisciplinary uh, department jaise maine aerospace cover kiya tha aerospace material science energy studies these are interdisciplinary departments do you know the meaning of interdisciplinary departments that means a student from chemical engineering mechanical engineering uh, electrical engineering electronic engineering physics people they can join these departments and they can pursue higher education in these departments these are not core branches core branches means like electrical branch only electrical people can join mechanical department only mechanical people can join aerospace department interdisciplinary all departments can join energy science all departments can join so this is one of the interdisciplinary department there is a misunderstanding among students that interdisciplinary branches mein placement nahi hota ya wahan pe masters acha nahi hota aapko dimag se do cheez nikalna hai number 1 ke interdisciplinary mein placement acha nahi hota believe me interdisciplinary departments like aerospace energy science se bahut acha placement hota hai in fact those of you jo foreign target kar rahe hain abroad after masters for doctorate aur jobs ke liye baad mein target kar rahe hain unke liye interdisciplinary is even better than core branches like material science can be better than even thermal science of mechanical engineering similarly aerospace is very good energy science is very good so ye yes, department interdisciplinary are very good departments anyhow let's start now and uh, aaj main ye video that is for energy science department of iit bombay kon apply kar sakta hai energy science department iit bombay which branches you can apply as i told you mechanical engineers chemical engineers electrical engineers Uh, civil engineers uh, physics people uh, can apply metallurgy engineer can apply so there are many such branches and basic sciences people can apply that details we are going to see and how to identify domain for you jaise agar ab aage aapko apply karna hai mtech research mein jisko ms bolte hain ya phd mein apply karna hai ya mtech mein apply karna hai how you can identify the domain for you ye jo gate ke baad ka aur result nikalne ke beech ka time hai that you can utilize for identifying these kind of departments fine so uh, it bombay ki site pe hum gaye aur sabse pehle humne faculty mein humne uh, sorry humne faculty mein gaye and then we opened up uh, not new tab but we opened up academic division let's say we go into academic division and in the academic division you will find many departments and aerospace department we have covered there are so many departments core and interdisciplinary both uh, usme main energy science and engineering department mein jata hu and you know when you go to energy science and engineering department uh, there will be something which will be mentioned about this department what is this department all about and why you should pursue your uh, higher education yahan pe kon kon se courses ye department deta hai like mtech in energy science and engineering phd is offered into this and uh, uh, mtech research is not mentioned here so that means ms ye department aapka nahi deta as of now that is what is looking like then after that you know we go to academics and in academics he will give you some kind of admission detail admission detail mein uh, you need it department of energy science and engineering offers graduates in mechanical chemical electrical and other allied engineering disciplines like uh, your metallurgical department production department wo allied aa jate hain to specialize in the field of uh, uh, energy uh, now this develops uh, linkages with the some departments yahan se aapko ye pata lagta hai ki aap masters karne ke baad kahan pe job kar sakte ho many of my students they are working in renewable energy डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सोर्सेज में जो काम कर रहे हैं अटोमिक एनर्जी रेगुलेटरी बोर्ड में पॉलिसी मेकिंग के ऊपर वो काम कर रहे हैं प्लेसमेंट होता है उनका डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अटोमिक एनर्जी में उनका प्लेसमेंट होता है एंड बहुत सी इंडस्ट्रीज ये जो नाम लिख रखे हैं इनमें भी जॉब्स लगती हैं तो जो इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी डिपार्टमेंट है जैसे एनर्जी साइंस वगैरह वहां से जो आपकी जॉब्स लगती हैं वो गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड प्राइवेट सेक्टर दोनों के अंदर यू गेट द जॉब्स नाउ Uh, he uh, mentions about the domains 
इंटरडिसिप्लिनरी नेचर का है ये डिपार्टमेंट एज ए टोल्ड यू सब डिपार्टमेंट के लोग इसमें जा सकते हैं एंड दीज आर द बेसिकली डोमेन इन विच यू कैन वर्क एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी एंड कंजर्वेशन अपने आप में बहुत बड़ा डोमेन है वर्क करने के लिए देन सोलर सेल्स एंड थर्मल साइंस बैटरी एंड स्टोरेज इंजीनियरिंग हाइड्रोजन एंड फ्यूल सेल स्मार्ट माइक्रोग्रिड स्मार्ट माइक्रोग्रिड एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट डोमेन है रिसर्च का जिसमें यू कैन गो फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स बैकग्राउंड विंड एनर्जी न्यूक्लियर एंड बायोमास एटसेट्रा ये ब्रॉडली uh, डोमेन्स हैं जिनमें आप वर्क कर सकते हैं एंड देन व्हाट इज द क्वालिफिकेशन रिक्वायर्ड सो एज ऑफ नो वी आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन बी और एम इंटीग्रेटेड वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन एम टेक एम एस एंड पी एच इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर डोमेन लाइक एम एस सी दिस सॉरी रिलेटेड टू योर एम टेक देन फॉर एम टेक यू नीड टू हैव वैलिड ग्रेड स्कोर एम एस सी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू आफ्टर बी एस सी यू नो देर एम एस सी ऑल्सो इन आई आई टीज सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू डू एम एस सी आफ्टर बी एस सी यू नीड टू राइट वन एग्जाम जे ए एम एंड इंटरव्यू दैट एग्जाम यू एस्टू रिटर्न जैम एग्जाम होता है वो आपको लिखना पड़ता है बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू पी एच डी आफ्टर बी टेक और आफ्टर एम एस सी नो बी टेक इज सपोज टू बी इक्वल एंड टू एम एस सी द स्टूडेंट हुई एम एस सी फिजिक्स एंड ही इज रिटर्न गेट एग्जाम गेट एग्जाम इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग गेट एग्जाम इज रिक्वायर्ड सो इफ यू हैव वैलिड गेट स्कोर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू डायरेक्टली पी एच डी यू नो पी एच डी आफ्टर बी टेक कैन बी डन आफ्टर एम टेक कैन बी डन एंड इट कैन बी डन आफ्टर एम एस सी ऑल्सो एम एस सी एम टेक बी टेक who can do phd in energy studies department of iit bombay if you are btech btech with gate score if you are mtech with gate score if you are msc with gate score so that is required and gate score ke baad written test hoga interview hoga that is how it is to be done who can do mtech mtech can be done if you have done btech be or if you have done bsc uh, and then you have done i think bsc engineering is required and i don't know whether msc ke baad yes msc ke baad they take you for mtech or not because msc ke baad bhi mtech hota hai so those guys who are msc they can also go for mtech so mtech and phd these are the two courses which you can go for and which branches mechanical electrical chemical energy aerospace thermal automobile agriculture metallurgy you know many times student from branches like chemical agriculture metallurgy physics साइंसिस केमिस्ट्री दे कीप ऑन आस्किंग सर हमारे लिए अपॉर्चुनिटीज और कहा है अपने डिपार्टमेंट के अलावा सो अदर देन माई डिपार्टमेंट वेयर एल्स कैन कैन अप्लाई नो थिंक ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर साइंटिस्ट बी बी टेक इन एग्रीकल्चर देर सो मेनी यूनिवर्सिटीज विच आर गिविंग यू ग्रेजुएशन इन एग्रीकल्चर द स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चर बैकग्राउंड कैन ऑल्सो गो फॉर एनर्जी स्टडीज department of iits and pursue their masters and get into really good jobs because placement is really good in iit bombay energy studies department metallurgy guys can go automobile engineers can go thermal science engineers can go aerospace bit jinhone be aerospace mein kiya they can go so these are the departments for you again same branches will remain same all branches of engineering uh, aeronautical aerospace chemical civil engineer electrical engineer mechanical engineer metallurgy engineer and jinhone msc kiya hai kisme chemistry physics mathematics so sir if i have done the msc in mathematics msc in chemistry msc in physics how can i enter into iit system you can directly apply for phd if you have a valid gate score you know uh, after mathematics also after uh, chemistry and physics people also write gate score so physics chemistry basic sciences people can go into these kind of departments like aerospace department that is what i have uh, like uh, uh, energy studies aerospace departments which we are mentioning so these are the requirement criteria for us i think you have understood this particular thing and if you go below then there are links mtech admission link phd admission links those everything is available there so this is little bit criteria and uh, okay now this is very important line sponsored candidates with at least 2 years of industrial experience may be exempted from gate so many times you ask sir without gate how can i get into iit system and we have launched on your pdf very big series like those who are do not have valid gate score how they can enter into really good courses so sponsored candidates like if you are doing job somewhere you know if you are doing job somewhere and that organization sponsors you then you can get into this iit 
कंपनी सिस्टम एंड दैट कंपनी कैन बी बिग कंपनी स्मॉल कंपनी बट ओनली दैट कंपनी इज गोइंग टू से वी आर स्पॉन्सरिंग हिज पी एच डी ही इज नॉट टू टेक द स्कॉलरशिप फ्रॉम आई आई टी सो यू कैन लैंड अप इन आई आई टी फॉर दिस कैंड ऑफ कोर्सेज फाइन दिस इज हाउ इट इज टू बी डन नाउ दीज आर वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड दीज आर हाउ यू आर टू एंटर इट नो आई गो टू पीपल वेन आई गो टू पीपल आई गेट सम काइंड ऑफ फैकल्टीज ओवर हेयर नो आई टोल्ड यू दैट Uh, for phd and ms or mtech research it is very important that you should have research proposal or statement of research or statement of purpose on the basis of that you will say that this is the reason why i want to do mtech or phd in the iit system that is very very important and hence we need to basically tell why we want to do that for that you need to go into the profile of the professors and you need to find out the professor related to your profile like i will go slowly slowly and find out which domain is related to what professor like let's say uh, i go to this professor professor sarangi and let's see what is his profile the moment you go to his academic background you will understand that this professor is from mechanical engineering background he has done his b in mechanical engineering so that means he must be working in the mechanical domain so those of you who are from mechanical background they will easily understand that this is the professor under which you can work or at least you will understand the research area so those of you who are from mechanical engineering background and they are their favorite subjects are ic engine and combustion internal combustion engine is your favorite subject thermal is your favorite subject then maybe his work is related or relevant for you so then you can understand what are the domains is working alternative fuels for ic engine engine performance and emission so uh, in your research proposal you are to write something which may be related to the work which he is doing or which is of interest to you and at the same time you have to prepare internal combustion engine very nicely for the interview so if you ic engine is prepared very nicely for interview and you have referred his work and you have prepared very good research proposal then in the phd if you apply and you know for application in phd very high gate score is not required you need to have a good btech score plus gate score and a good research proposal and then you may get call from such uh, department now uh, if we go further we can find out the publication which we has done fuel injector deposit in direct injection spark ignition engine something you are getting out of it okay, okay this is related to me investigating combustion in mini internal combustion engine or you can see this load transient between conventional diesel operation and low temperature combustion or the effect of split injection uh, on high egr low temperature diesel engine combustion so all these papers are related to the combustion or related to internal combustion engines maybe those of you who are interested in this particular domain they can find out his research work that is relevant for you okay now i go to some another domain let us say uh, bal subramaniam professor bal subramaniam and i want to know which domain he is working okay can you tell me what is the domain for him he started his career with bsc physics then he entered into metallurgy and material science so those of you who are from physics background or those of you who are from metallurgy or material science background they can find his work more relevant to your work and if you see his research area that is related to photovoltaic cells and defect chemistry of transparent conductors then band gap engineering of material for photo electrochemical energy conversion so these are the research areas for him so uh, if you have some kind of science background like bsc physics or something then obviously you know what is the meaning of band gap engineering you know that is a thing and if you want to go in detail of that these are the research papers which you can refer so uh, by seeing the research paper you will understand okay this is relevant for me i want to go in detail of that these are the research papers which he has published like right? uh, in elastic x ray scattering from 10 nanometer thick this material thin film so this physical review letters you know th these kind of you know, research papers are published in this particular uh, uh, basically journal applied physics journals so slowly slowly keep on exploring and maybe physics guys will be in better position to understand iska kya meaning hai aur kahan pe isko hame karna hai so this professor was uh, from that particular department now let me explore another professor and see what domain he is working should i now see what professor let us say daya deep is doing okay let me go to that professor daya deep let's see his uh, profile be from punjab university and then he is into that 
from there I do not get what is his background but see his research areas when you see his research areas solid oxide fuel cells sulfur poisoning of FSO FCs so it looks like he is actually from electrochemistry reaction combustion fuel cells this is the common domain for chemical engineers and chemistry people chemical engineers and chemistry so if you've done BE in chemical engineering or if you've done chemistry MSc you BSc or MSc you can work under the uh, domain of this professor or whatever research area he is doing and seeing his research paper also you will understand that what domain you can work on study of combined deactivation due to sulfur poisoning and carbon deposit during biogas dry reforming so nickel catalyst and all these things right so uh, high temperature polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell stacks in power range of this 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 so an effective property model of infiltrator electrodes in solid oxide fuel cells Malab, jo bhi aapka background hai, whatever background you people are having you need to identify the work related to that background and professor related to that okay let me further uh, explore Lalit Kumar see now what Lalit Kumar is into again chemical engineering background so if you see Lalit Kumar is from chemical engineering background and this is the domain he is working you see wax deposition pipeline shut in start process water purification and oil water separation oil water separation and water purification are the two very very relevant and latest research areas in which people are working so if you are from chemical engineering background where do you work in energy science department of IIT Bombay this is the research area you can identify then you can google out and find out more on the basis of the research paper abstracts of this professor assessment of open thermochemical energy storage system performance low temperature heating applications so this way you can find out where he is working uh, numerical study of flow restart in the pipeline filled with weakly compressible waxy crude oil in non isothermal condition I mean you will only understand little bit about what work he is working so you need to google out you need to find out and obviously our mentors in your PDA will help you out in that how you have to identify these domains of research okay anyhow after this chemical then we go back and find out some more professor in which they are working uh, let's say what Karthik professor Karthik is doing in which domain is working again now can you find out which domain is working uh, is looks like mechanical domain like solar thermal energy physics of energy science uh, heat transfer physics thin film solar photovoltaic cells that is the domain which is related to mechanical field okay let's go further and you find uh, professor Bose she is also into the a chemical engineering domain MSc in engineering and chemical engineering domain she is working into granular materials multi-phase flows coal gasification and combustion so that is the domains she is working so still we are to find out the professors from some more domains like domains uh, let's see what professor Rajesh Gupta is working let's see Okay, Professor Rajesh Gupta is from Physics and Electronics domain. He has done his PhD in Electronics from IIT Delhi and he is uh, M.Tech in Energy and MSc in Physics. So whatever you find, his domain will be related to Physics, Infrared Thermography. And if you see uh, the labs or the courses offered under him, they are also related to Electronics and these are the research papers papers electrical simulation and characterization of sh shunts in solar cells so the students who are from electronics background or they are from physics background they will find more work in uh, professor Rajesh Gupta's work they will may they will be more in line with that okay now uh, let me find what professor Shankara Sharma is into okay this is again material science and metallurgy so we have found uh, first professor from metallurgical department so if you have done BTEC in metallurgy this work of this professor may be more relevant for you electron microscopy nano interface scanning electrochemical microscopic polarization behavior of end plates 
you know polar crystalline and dendritic growth dendritic growth is something which is we, which we see during solidification of uh, metal or materials and grains formation that is a important uh, domain of metallurgy so if you are from btec metallurgy maybe the work related to this domain will be relevant for you what are the research papers okay tension compression asymmetry in extruded magnesium alloy typical metallurgical kind of domains annealing response of this material deformed in plane strain and equibiaxial strain paths photo uh, static versus galvanostatic electro deposition of nano crystalline i mean these are the topics which uh, metallurgy and material science uh, people will be in more uh, better position to decode and understand how it is to be done okay let me see if i can find out some more professor here what work they are doing let me find out uh, what work okay professor pavan let's see he is working into which domain okay so we have got here uh, btech in electrical engineering also so this professor is from electrical engineering background let's see what research areas control and pulse width modulation and power electronic converters so if you are from electrical background electronics background then maybe the work of this professor is more relevant to you he is also teaching power electronics and electrical machines that means he is a electrical engineering professor so if you see the work analysis of generalized continual clamp and split clamp uh, domains he is working experimental determination of mechanical parameters in sensor less vector controlled induction motor drive so the moment you read these you will find that okay this professor is actually the electrical background this is how i am to do it now uh, let's go back and uh, i think this more or less we have covered all the domains so let me ask you now uh, if i if i if i ask you here uh, in uh, energy science department uh, this my video was related to energy science department of iit bombay which is offering the phd courses and mtech courses what branches as i told you branches related to mechanical civil electrical electronics chemical metallurgy aerospace Mm, then physics chemistry mathematics this interdisciplinary department if you have a valid gate score uh, then you can apply into this for mtech gate score required is high we will obviously tell you what score is required where you have to apply but be prepared till your gate exam result is over at least you should have 10 to 20 places where you people are to apply and how you have to prepare for that suppose you have decided that my gate score is not going to be high it is going to be 40 to 50 and uh, near about 50 i am from chemical engineering background my gate score is going to be 50 but my btech percentage is 75 percent plus i am sure to get phd calls or ms calls from iits or ics then these are the departments in which i am going to apply aerospace department uh, energy studies department and so many other departments and then start preparing once you know that okay this is where i'm going to apply now what next how i'm to prepare for that written exam kaisa hoga how i'm to prepare for written exam these all things are to be done believe me very less students prepare post gate for applications they do not do that only entire preparation they do to get the score once they get the score they sit on judgment that this score is not good this score is not bad or something like that they do not try to convert that score and i have been telling you that if you have gate score valid gate score and btec percentage is good you have very high probability to land up in these institutes even if you do not have gate score there are so many institutes which will offer you the courses which will further offer you very good jobs and placements so in india there is no dearth or scarcity of good opportunities or options only thing is you need to take the call you need to take the step you need to start putting effort in that direction so just uh, do that and i will keep on coming with more such videos for your information thank you